In Sweden, um, if you look upon an institution of investors, they primarily look on the CBD office properties, perhaps retail properties as well. And of course, institutional investors from abroad would like to, to buy the same, but the, the, the competition is fierce there. So therefore, they're, they're, they should probably look on the core plus, as they do in, in very much of Europe at the moment. Uh, there's definitely a gap there where perhaps the opportunistic money isn't looking at it, and at the same time, the, the institutional money is more looking upon the, the really core properties. Um, looking on the secondary objects, the institutional money are looking more uh, upon indir indirect investments. Um, if you look upon different kind of properties, um, retail and logistics is, has historically been really big upon international investment volume uh, in Sweden, and it still is. So there are definite opportunities there, and the knowledge is already there. If you look upon more developments, uh, it seems like the international investors like to, to cooperate with some local knowledge, some local teams, and many already have those kind of contacts, but, but we're very happy to help out with that as well. So it all depends on what kind of, of assets and what kind of risk you're looking at. There is a multifamily housing sector, but that is very much a Swedish sector, very much Swedish investors, except perhaps for some Norwegian and Danish ones.